Welcome to Conflict News 24. We have uh, some uh, new stories for you from global conflict, especially Russia-Ukraine conflict. Firstly, it seems that uh, Armenia is going to boycott upcoming military maneuvers in Kazakhstan. CSTO uh, military maneuvers will be held under the auspices of CSTO military alliance. Armenia not happy with Russia and its CSTO allies. Uh, we have details for you. Secondly, Turkey is hoping that uh, Putin and Zelensky could meet. Turkey is trying to create uh, common grounds. It is working towards the start of talks between Kiev and Kremlin. Mavra Chao Sholo, Turkish foreign minister, spoke today about this development. Thirdly, how much is U.S. supporting Ukraine financially on a monthly basis? Zelensky, Ukrainian president, today revealed the amount of financial aid for Ukraine from US on monthly basis. And lastly, we have details on a map for you from the battlefield. Russia, Ukraine, battlefield where we know that in Kharkiv, uh, around two weeks ago, Ukrainian forces retook large territories. Now, Ukrainian forces are uh, gradually taking control of territories between Kharkiv and Luhansk. Part of Donetsk, which is between uh, Kharkiv and Luhansk, is the target of Ukrainian military now. And they are gradually uh, gaining ground in this territory between Luhansk and uh, Kharkiv. We have details on a map for you. First, of course, Azerbaijan, Armenia, a conflict, the two countries fought a war in 2020. Then, around a week ago, uh, deadly clashes erupted. More than 200 were killed on both sides. Uh, Azerbaijani forces uh, entered mainland Armenia. Fighting was not over Nagorno-Karabakh. It was uh, on Armenian territory. So, that is why Armenia... Uh, when fighting was ongoing a few days ago, requested military support from CSTO allies. CSTO is a military alliance of six countries. Russia, Armenia, uh, Kazakhstan, uh, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan and Belarus. But uh, the countries, including Russia, did not support Armenia militarily. That is why Armenia is going to boycott upcoming military maneuvers under the auspices of CSTO alliance in Kazakhstan. The maneuvers will start on the 26th of September until the 20 uh, until uh, the 6th till the 8th of October. The maneuvers, military maneuvers, will be held in Kazakhstan. Reportedly, Armenia is going to boycott these military maneuvers. Nancy Pelosi, U.S. House Speaker, visited Armenia a few days ago. U.S. is gaining ground in Russian neighborhood. U.S. wants to increase its influence in Russian neighborhood. And Armenian boycott of CSTO is an indication that Armenia is interested in joining the EU camp, U.S. camp. Uh, secondly, viewers, uh, Turkey is very hopeful that there could be resumption of talks between Kiev and Kremlin that Putin and Zelensky could meet. Mavla uh, Chao Sholo, a Turkish foreign minister, is in Japan and there he hoped in uh, a statement there could be resumption of talks between Russia and Ukraine. A few days ago, in Uzbekistan, a uh, CSTO meeting was held. Uh, SCO meeting, Shanghai Cooperation Organization session was held in Uzbekistan, attended by Russia, by other members of SCO. Turkish uh, President Erdogan was there too. He met with Putin. Russian president and there he floated the idea of meeting 
meeting between Putin and Zelensky. And uh, uh, according to Turkish officials, uh, Putin's response was positive. It means that Putin, the Russian president, is considering resumption of talks with Ukraine. Uh, question is, will Ukraine agree to any resumption of talks? That is the important question because we know that in uh, Donetsk, Lugansk, Zaporizhia and Kherson, uh, Russia is organizing referendums. Referendums to join Russia. These territories of Ukraine will be uh, will be announced on uh, Wednesday to be part of uh, Russia after the referendums are held there. Ukraine, EU, US all have rejected. Turkey as well. They have rejected these referendums. They say referendums are illegal. Russia is trying to annex uh, Ukrainian lands. And before these referendums, Zelensky had said in a statement that if Russia held referendums uh, for annexation in Zaporizhia, Kherson, uh, Donetsk, Lugansk, it would be uh, an end to the prospects of peaceful solution to this conflict. So now when Putin is showing some flexibility, will Zelensky agree for a meeting for resumption of talks that time managed to be seen? Zelensky uh, cannot uh, make decisions on his own because his government relies heavily on uh, EU, NATO, US support, financial support, arm support. Uh, so uh, what are US uh, and uh, European interests? Do they want this war to continue or do they want a peaceful solution? So it the the... Uh, Putin's uh, positive response, which has not been made public so far, if it is made public, uh, uh, will be uh, gauged by the EU and US, I think. Zelensky's role is limited, though he is the man in charge in Ukraine, but he cannot make decisions on his own. My personal opinion is that this war suits US. Though U.S. is hurt financially because uh, Zelensky uh, in an interview a few hours ago with uh, uh, CBS confirmed that uh, U.S. was giving around 1.5 billion U.S. dollars on a monthly basis to Ukraine. So financially this war is hurting a little to the U.S. But on the other hand... Uh, Russia is becoming weak. Europe is becoming weak as well, I think. There is crises in Europe, especially in coming winter. You could see crises. Germany on the verge of recession. So, uh, once again, uh, US is emerging as a stronger global power in this conflict. I personally think continuation of this war suits uh, US. We know was that uh, it was Turkey which played a key role in facilitating Russia-Ukraine grain deal signed a few weeks ago. Uh, and after that, Ukraine resumed its grain exports to the outside world. Can Turkey play uh, a role towards a peaceful solution to this conflict that remains to be seen? So several players are involved in this uh, conflict. Turkey-Russia relationship is a very unique relationship. Both are mostly on opposite sides when it comes to global conflicts. But somehow they continue having a brilliant working relationship. You see what happened in Libya, they were on opposite sides. In Syria, again opposite sides, uh, Russia backing uh, Bashar al-Assad government uh, and Turkey uh, is trying to push uh, some proxies from close to its border area. The two countries fought a war as well, a uh, small scale war, uh, Turkey and Syria. And then uh, Erdogan went to Russia, their ceasefire agreement was signed. 
in Azerbaijan, Armenia or conflict to Turkey, Russia were on opposite sides. And in this conflict, Russia-Ukraine conflict, uh, Turkey sold uh, drones, TB2 drones to Ukraine. And Turkey opposes uh, ongoing referendums held by Russia in Zaporizhia, Kherson, Lons, Donetsk. Uh, but at the same time, Erdogan, uh, Putin uh, have uh, uh, working relationship and uh, Erdogan played a role in grain deal. Can he play a role in uh, some sort of ceasefire agreement? Let's see. Lastly, viewers, uh, a new story about uh, the battlefield gains and losses. Ukrainian military, which retook large territories in Kharkiv around two weeks ago, is now trying to capture territories between Kharkiv and Luhansk. Donetsk territories between Luhansk and Kharkiv are being swiftly retaken by Ukrainian forces have details for you on a map. Have a look at this map. You can see uh, Ukraine-Russia border on this map. This zigzag line shows uh, Russia-Ukraine border. Loas can be seen, uh, Donetsk and Kharkiv. Uh, we know that uh, large uh, parts of Luhansk, Donetsk and Kharkiv, uh, eastern part of Ukraine, are under uh, Russian uh, control. Zaporizhia as well, parts of Zaporizhia and Kherson here, uh, you can see Kherson here. Uh, so, we're talking about Eastern Front in this video, Loask, Donetsk, Kharkiv. In Kharkiv, we know that in Kharkiv Oblast, uh, Ukraine forces launched a major counteroffensive around two weeks ago and then they retook large territories. Uh, this is Oskel River and uh, to the left of Oskel River, here, all these areas here, 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 uh, is the, um, they were under uh, Russian control, but Ukraine forces have now retook all these territories and Ukraine military has now reached this area, border, Russia, Ukraine, border. Oskar River, it, uh, Ukraine forces have crossed this river and now they are trying to take control of uh, the areas between Loansk and Kharkiv. Uh, let me show you the boundary first. This is uh, Donetsk Kharkiv uh, boundary. You can see here. Here, Kharkiv Donetsk boundary can be seen here. And here you can see Loansk Kharkiv boundary. You can see here. So, after taking control of territories uh, to the left of Oskel River, Ukrainian military have, has crossed into Donetsk. This is Donetsk, viewers. And now, Ukrainian military is trying to reach here. This is Loansk. This is Kharkiv. This is uh, Loansk. And here it is uh, Donetsk some territories of Donetsk between the two oblasts. And now, Ukrainian military is trying to take control of territories in this zone, which is Donetsk between uh, Kharkiv and Loansk. Izium in Kharkiv under Ukrainian control, Ukrainian forces crossed Oskel River, and now they are advancing in Donetsk. They have taken Robertsy, in Donetsk, Lazove taken by Ukrainians, uh, Kirimiki under Ukrainian control, Alexandrivka, Krovi Lar, Karpevka, uh, Ridkodab. All these places have come under Ukrainian control, visually confirmed. And this is the border. You can see here Loansk Donetsk border. So it means that. Uh, Ukrainian forces are very close to reaching Loansk border. One main town in uh, Donetsk is still under Russian control and that is Lemon. You can see Lemon here. But the way uh, Ukrainian military is advancing in Donetsk here, here, 
Lemon is being put under pressure so far. Russians are in control of Lemon and from Lemon they are launching heavy artillery strikes uh, in nearby areas. Ozerne was taken by Ukrainian forces uh, and they crossed this river, uh, Sivuski Donuts River. They took Dibrova as well. Lemon is being encircled and the target of uh, Ukrainian military here is to reach the border, Luansk, Donetsk border and then move into Luansk towards the two main cities of Luansk which are Severodonetsk and Lyschansk. So you see that uh, Ukraine has momentum on its side. It started somewhere from here and now it is, uh, its forces are going to reach the border, Luansk, Donetsk border. And here in Kharkiv as well, you can see this river uh, to the east and west of this river is Kharkiv. Here Ukrainian forces have crossed this river and they are trying to push Russians from the right bank of uh, Oskil river towards this uh, border which is Kharkiv Loansk border. So in Kharkiv, uh, in Donetsk, Ukrainian forces are definitely making gains, they are advancing, uh, that is why we are seeing new recruitments. Mobilization was ordered by Russian president, uh, partial mobilization a few days ago. Two week military training is underway, after that we could see massive deployments uh, in Donetsk and Luhansk. Let's see, can Ukraine uh, retake these two main uh, cities of Luansk, Severodonetsk and Lyschansk are not that much. Before that, uh, we'll have to wait uh, to see the fate of Lemon because for days, you can first have been trying to retake Lemon and Russians are fighting, fighting hard to uh, secure and to remain in control of Lemon. Thank you for watching.